Hello guys and welcome back to another player view on the channel. You can just see him lingering behind my camera there. It is the foot birthday 87 rated Atal who looks absolutely insane, I've got to be honest. He looks absolutely fantastic. His stats just are immense, aren't they? So, if you do enjoy the player review today, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe. We're on our way to 2,000 subscribers. So, if you could help me out by subscribing, that would mean so much to me. It really would. Now, f this foot birthday at all. Oh, Jesus. Some of the stats he's got are insane. Five star, five star, which is incredible. You could have this man at the right. We could have Neymar at the left. And Mbappe as a striker. Oh, my days. The attack could be amazing. The attack. The possibilities are endless. But... Yeah, this man looks incredible. High medium work, right footed, five star, five star. And just by looking at his base card, everything's above 80. That's insane. You could play this man anywhere. He looks so versatile. You could play him at bloody right back. You could play him at CDM. You could play him at cam. You could play him at right wing. You could play him at left wing. You could play him at left cam, right cam, centre cam, striker. It. He just looks so versatile. He could play absolutely anywhere. And the only stat that's not green is his free kick accuracy, which, you know, you don't really need, to be honest, either. That is just insane. Absolutely insane. The pace, oh my God, he looks absolutely rapid. Can't wait to try him out. Similarly to Ryan Kent. And if you haven't already, go and check out my Ryan Kent foot birthday review. I've done... Adama Traore and Sterling as well, boys. So go and check those reviews out. They are live on my channel right now. The shooting category is stacked. Apart from the long shots, which is 78, could be a bit higher. And penalties of 73. Everything else is pretty decent. 87 shot power, 91 finishing with 5-star weak foot. Oh my god, this is going to be crazy. His passes stats are pretty decent as well. 85 short passes good. Long pass of 81, decent. 79 curves, not the best. And he doesn't have the finesse shot trait. However, he does have the outside of the foot shot trait, which is a good trait to have. He has Fleur. Injury prone, obviously not so great. Um, his crossing 85 is pretty decent, to be fair. His drilling stats are absolutely stacked and probably the best category aside from his pace. 89 agility, 88 balance, 87 reactions, 89 ball control, 92 dribbling, and 84 composure. His defending stats, everything is above 70. His lowest being 71 hand accuracy. 82 interceptions with that pace is going to be insane. 84 stand tackle, 83 slide tackle, and then his physical stats are pretty damn decent as well. He has got 81 jumping, 90 stamina, 80 strength, and 89 aggression. Jeez, this man looks incredible doesn't he just by looking at his card now i'm gonna start off yes i'm gonna play him as a striker to start off with um but i'll probably use him in a couple of different positions probably try him out on on the wing as well uh, but honestly this man just by looking at his card he could play pretty much anywhere on the pitch couldn't he he really could he looks so versatile and if you manage to pack him untradeable then you could bring him on off the bench if you can't fit him into your team and you could play him as i said cdm Centre mid, right mid, left mid, cam, striker, who knows where you could play this man. He looks like you could play any position across the whole pitch, so that is absolutely incredible. So guys, let's get on into the Atal review, see if he's any good, see where he plays best, and see if he can bag us some goals. And again, if you are new around here, please do subscribe, just go down there, click the subscribe button, and help me on my journey to 2,000 subs. And again, as well, please do smash the thumbs up button on this one, lads. Help me get my videos out there so I can carry on doing doing these reviews for you guys. So, here we go into the player review. And hopefully, fingers crossed, he's going to be amazing. He's the most popular player on Footbin at the moment. So, I think, I think people know that this card is good. So, here we go. First game with Atal. And he's got that Juvenile Foot Birthday card. Didn't do him. If you did him, let me know if he was good. But decent looking team, different to the normal to be fair. Hopefully we'll, we'll win and hopefully Atal's going to get us a few goals. Get on the score sheet. Lovely one, two. Can Curtis get it? Yes, he can. And it was a lovely assist from Atal. Great one, two play there. Oh, he's done him. Cross goal shot. Great save, though, by the keeper. Oh, 
Oh, he does him. <laughs> Take a bow. Take a bow at all. What a goal that was. Absolutely did the defender with a fake shot and then puts the ball into the back of the net. So far, he feels really good. Somehow he's got through. Oh, brilliant play, but very unfortunate there. So we're going to half time. At our one goal and one assist in this game. Feels really fluid on the ball. Um, more so, to be fair, than Ryan Kent and Adama Traore. If he does feel a lot better on the ball than them two. Uh, don't know why that is. Don't know why, but yeah. He seems really good on the ball. His pace is excellent. Again, his interceptions are really good. So if you do play him at striker, he does intercept quite a few balls high up the pitch, which is a good trait to have, to be fair. Um, again, you can play this guy anywhere. He does feel quite good in uh, as a striker where I'm playing in at the moment, but I guarantee he'd be, pl he'd be great anywhere else on the pitch, really. But we'll carry on and see if he is any good in different positions. Oh, oh, he does him, but the keeper's there to make a good save. Oh, lovely run from Atal. Lovely run from Atal. Oh, how's he missed that? How's he missed that? Was on his weak foot, but it is five star, but should have got it on target at least. Oh, lovely play again. But the keepers, the keeper's been really, really good in this second half. So we end up losing this one 3 2. We had some really good chances, just couldn't put anything to bed in the second half. And then we got some 90th minute scripts in, as per usual, in extra time. Yes, we did concede a goal because EA know how to shaft people games, don't they? They really do. But decent performance from in the first game. Really, really impressed um, initially. I did play him at striker for the first half, second half I moved him out to left wing. He played okay as a left wing, but definitely felt better as a striker in my opinion. Um, as you've seen, in the first nine minutes he got a goal and an assist, which was an incredible. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, did feel better as a striker so far, got to be honest. But we'll give it another go uh, next game. I'll do the same again. First half as a striker, second half as a winger and see where he plays best in that one and make my decisions. But all in all, so far he's been pretty decent, pretty enjoying him. Again, dribbling feels brilliant, does feel really good on the ball with the skill moves, absolutely fantastic. His long shots, I did have one or two outside the box and they weren't the best to be honest. Um, but everything else has been really, really good for the card. So let's get on into the second match. Here we go into match number two, and he's got some sensational cards. Mateu centre back, prime icon moments, Ned Ved, Andy Robbo at left back, really nice team, and he's got Modric foot birthday. Who, to be honest, looks right, a really good card, and I do want to try him, so I might give him a go. If you want to see his review, then let me know in the comments if you'd like to, me to review that Modric card. But fingers crossed, the towel's going to be amazing again. Again, from the start, going to use him as a striker. Then probably moving back into a winger card for the second half. On the edge. Somehow we find the back of the net. We do get a lucky deflection. That was a very lucky goal, to be honest. Oh, come on. Look at the pace. Look at the pace. Ran can't get closer. Cross goal, but the keeper does save it. The angle tighter and tighter there. And it was a good save by the keeper. But great turn of pace. Nice play. Oh, lovely. Lovely. What a goal. The five-star skills on this man. Oh, my God. He's such a fun card. Wow. That was a crazy goal from Atal. Brilliant play. 
It's just a great finish. The finesse shot. He doesn't have the finesse shot trait. And he doesn't have the um, curve. But, God, that finesse shot was amazing. And we just conceded a goal straight away from kickoff. Great. Come on. Come on, Atal. Cross goal. Rock it. But, again, a great save. So we're going to half time. We were 2 0 up and we fucked it up. It's 2 2. But Atal has been the man. He has scored a lovely, lovely goal. In fact, did he get two? I think he did. I can't even remember. Yes, he did. He got both of them. And he's played absolutely fantastic. Really fantastic. Now, stick around till the end for my player summary because I'm going to compare the four foot, um, foot birthday cards. Adama Traore, Atal, Sterling, and, oh, for God's sake, I forgot his name, Ryan Kent. How can I forget that man's name? I'm going to compare them all for you and see where this man stacks up to them in an attackive sense. Because, obviously, in a defensive sense, this man blows them out of the water. But in an attackive sense, who do I think's best out of them? Oh! Has he found the space? Oh, Quadrado just, just about gets his foot in, but he absolutely shredded him to bits then. So, unfortunately, he didn't get a win here. I gifted him a goal, passed it straight to him, and he bloody scores. Very unlucky to not win this one. Played really, really well. Atal with a great performance, went on some really nice dribbles throughout the game, and scored two very nice goals early on. Um... Again, great performance from him. Really enjoying the card. But again, he f a second half, he goes missing when I've been playing him at wide cam. Yes, he goes on a couple of dribbles and stuff like that, but nothing too major. He's definitely playing better as a striker. So in the next game, I'm just going to focus on him, using him as a striker because that's where he's played best for me. But he's not, it's not that he's playing shit as a winger. He's just not getting any goals, not getting any serious contributions to the game. He is good out wide, don't get me wrong, but if you're going to pay this much money for a card like this, you want him to play up top, getting the goals, getting involved, and that's where I'm going to play him. Here we go, into match number three, and it's not the most mind-blowing team in the world. It does have two foot birthday cards, Jovino and Bernadeschi. Bernadeschi looks okay, to be honest. Um, good, obviously, good, decent nation, decent league, decent team. So he has got some good links, but all in all, this team isn't brilliant, isn't mind-blowing, so Atal best punish the defence. Come on, Atal. Come on, Atal, show your pace. A cross goal finish. <sighs> Never cross goal shots like that. Very rarely go in, in my opinion. Come on, Atal. Come on, Atal. Volley. Oh, Jesus. And that's why his volleys are his volleys are crap, aren't they? I think he's got really low volley stat. And he's just proved it there. Terrible. But he killed someone in the crowd, that. Oh, we go again. Lovely run. Maybe this time. Yes! Get in. We find the back of the net. What a goal that was. And we get a volley goal after just saying his volleys were crap. What a goal that was. But he shows his pace. As soon as he's in behind, there is no stopping this man, is there? He's just absolutely rapid. <laughs> oh, boys! What is that pure filth? Oh my god, what a goal. That is one for the highlights reel. That was absolutely insane. And I said his volleys were bloody shit five minutes ago. And he scored two since. Oh, and he's nearly he nearly took on the keeper here as well. Unlucky. Gee. Oh, I can't even believe that goal. That was just filthy. Absolutely filthy. So we go into half time. And Atal has performed immensely in this game. That last goal was unreal. It was really unreal. He's made lovely, lovely runs, constantly making good runs. Um, and he obviously put the bet ball in the back of the net twice in this game so far. I'm going to keep him a striker because, as I said last time, 
last two games have been moving him to back to a wide cam on that left cam side, and he's not really done anything. So I'm going to keep him as a striker for the second half. But oh my god, them two goals were absolutely phenomenal, weren't they? Nice play. Oh, what a cross. That was filthy play. That was filthy play. Oh, my goodness. Absolute filth. And Atal, again, in the mix with a lovely pass. Oh, he's through. Lovely, lovely stuff. He is just filthy. He is absolutely filthy. These foot birthday cards have been some of the best cards I've used. Sterling, Adama, this man and Kent. They are absolutely phenomenal. Woohoohoo! Cheeky! Again, oh, he's just filth. He's absolute filth. Oh, he's not playing now. He's not playing, and obviously we're gonna score, aren't we? He's give up. He's give up because Atal has tore him a new asshole. What a player this is! Absolutely end game, undoubt, no doubt about it. Undoubtedly end game player this. So we end this game, he's going to pick up the match ball, absolutely brilliant performance from him, some of the best goals I've scored on the game to date, that volley was unbelievable, five goals in this one, he is absolutely brilliant. Now we'll get on into my overall thoughts and opinions of this Atal card right now and compare them to the other foot birthday cards I've recently reviewed, Adama, Sterling and um, Ryan Kent, so let's get on into it now. So here we are, the player summary of this foot birthday at all, and you can already tell my opinions of him, can't you? He was fantastic. Three games, eight goals, one assist. He just played phenomenal. The goals he scored, um, the passing, the dribbling, the shooting, absolutely everything. I really, I genuinely, genuinely did not have a con with this card whatsoever. Um, high medium work rate was fine. With the 93 attack positioning, he was in the right place at the right time every single time. He was just an absolutely fun card, lads. Definitely an in-game player. Yes, 87 rated. Doesn't sound in-game, but honestly, the stats, the way he performs in-game, definitely in-game player. 100%. Pick this guy up. You will have so much fun with this card. I use him as a striker. Again, he's very versatile. You can play him anywhere from a CDM up to a striker. He's that versatile. He's just a really phenomenal card. Phenomenal card. Now... One thing I did notice, boys and girls, is that his dribbling felt better than, like, Adama Traore and was on par with Ryan Kent. Now, he has a lot less agility and balance than both of them, but he felt better. And that could be because the rest of his dribbling stats are quite high, whereas, like, on Ryan Kent, I think... His composure was a bit lower, his reactions were a bit lower, same with Adama Traore, so maybe that's why, maybe that's why, but this card, honestly, pick him up, he is absolutely phenomenal. If I had to vote out of the four that I've reviewed, Adama, um, Sterling, Kent and this man, I'd probably go Sterling as the top, Atal second, Kent third and then um, Adama fourth but this guy's a 10 out of 10 he was just brilliant absolutely fantastic the versatility on this card is amazing and that is one of the key points for me because he's so versatile if you can't fit him into your main team you can have him on the bench and you can bring him on anywhere you bloody like same as if you do start him off and possibly you get a red card or something with a player he can be moved about he's that versatile he's just a really really good player to have in your team and he was a really fun card with a 5 star, 5 star. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this foot birthday at our review. If you have, smash the like button. And if you are new around here, please do subscribe. And I hope you all have enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.